Well, time to go to work. A uh, couple of days ago, Wooden Chairs did a video talking about why he vlogs, and he wanted, uh, I don't know if he wanted everybody to chime in, but I know he said he wanted to hear from some people, and um, a, a fair number of people on YouTube probably don't realize that uh, I didn't start a couple of months ago when I started uploading stuff to YouTube. I've actually been doing this for uh, two years as I argue with my GPS which is my speedometer doesn't want to play nice um, I've been doing it for two years at thereabouts I got started on a live video I don't know uh, how I first found the site, I can, I, I can remember who the first video I watched was, the first vlog, what a motorcycle vlog, um, I can't remember her name, or even how to pronounce it or anything like that, I know she doesn't do it anymore, but I remember the video, it was like her life or a, a day a day out of her life or something like that and it was you know making waking up making coffee shit like that and uh i started i was like oh that's kind of cool you know so i started digging around and i found the josh uh josh was on youtube as columbia 4200 i think and from him i branched out and started finding various other motorcycle vloggers uh eventually i found more death and uh, 88 Hawaii, you know, the big names. Well, it, over there, uh, more so, a lot more so than on YouTube, which, and mind you, I didn't have any idea any of this was going on on YouTube. Um, over there, it was, there was a very strong sense of community. And I'd been riding for a couple of years and was just fixing to get a new bike. Um, so I thought it was really cool that here's all these all these motorcyclists from all over the country, in some cases different parts of the world, um, and and they're talking to each other and they're cordial and, and telling stories and swapping information and all that good stuff. And I started out just making random comments, and then I was like, you know what? I can do that. Why not? My first three or four videos were uh, specifically video replies when somebody would ask a question. Um, I, I went out and did a couple of videos and responded to them, uh, unsolicited or otherwise. And then slowly I, I figured out a lot of the little tricks to the game and it looks like y'all get to sit here and watch me sit through a train. That'll be exciting. Um, Gonna make my ass late for work. Shut up! Jesus. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. So, uh, eventually I figured out a lot of little tips and tricks and all that shit. And started making my own videos and I, I kind of climbed up the ranks a little bit and, and at first not too many people really watched me all that much it's kind of how it always goes and uh, I met a couple of people you know I made a really good friend through live video and I just I, I really like the communal aspect to it so we started up a uh, a channel over there dedicated just to, to motorcycle vloggers so that we didn't look at it as a competition to see who could have the most viewers. We wanted everybody to have basically equal exposure. So we spent weeks hunting down everyone that made motorcycle videos that we could find and invited them to become crew members on the, on the channel so that they could upload their stuff there. And we were doing weekly reviews and features and all this. And it worked out really well. 
and me and uh, Jasper, Jasper started doing musical stuff, which really got him well known. And I, I want to say that it was because of this channel that we put together that I got my fan base, and I eventually became the uh, third most subscribed vlogger on live video. Uh, I probably still am. Well, the, the third most subscribed motorcycle vlogger. Um, 88 Hawaii and uh, More Death were the only ones that had more than I did, and I never really cared. Organized the Deals Gap trip, you know, and, and last year we had a pretty good turnout. The first year that we did it, we didn't have many people show up for various different reasons. I got a lot of bullshit excuses, but for the most part, you know, people aren't going to go. They aren't going to go. It doesn't matter what they tell you. Uh, by that point, it was almost expected that I put out videos every couple of days, and I had just graduated to a nice big bike that would actually get me up the freeway. So I was able to go out and do more and more exploring and, uh, excuse me. Uh, I was able to go out and do more and more exploring and I always had something to talk about, you know. So that helped a lot. But really, I was just kind of doing it to do it, you know. I, w I wasn't wanting to be famous or anything. I just wanted to be part of the community and... Um, for a long time, we all watched each other's stuff, and, and you could see conversations between us in different videos, you know, and there were a bunch of meetups and, and all that good stuff. Um, it was just, it was just really cool. It's like having another little family, having a whole bunch of riding buddies. Oh, look, a squid. Is that guy, he even wearing a shirt? No. <laughs> oh, look, it's a GSXR, too. Go figure. And people wonder why we call them squid bikes. He's soaking wet. He's been swimming in the river. Um, anyway, uh, I didn't want notoriety. I didn't want fame. I wanted, I wanted people to talk to, and that's what I got. And I've got a whole lot of friends. In fact, probably half the people on my instant messenger uh, friends list are directly because I started vlogging. Uh, new, the new ones and the old ones. You know, I've, I've known some of these people for uh, two years. And it's just been really cool. So I keep doing it, you know. I, I don't have a reason to quit. It's not boring. It's, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, all my gear is paid for. What the fuck, lady? Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Jesus Christ, why don't you quit right in the guy's ass? You might be an idiot, but that doesn't mean you need to tell Katie. Um, so that's how I got started. Now I'm fixing to roll into Subway here so that I can grab uh, what's going to be lunch in a couple of hours. And I'll tell you why I keep going now uh, when I get done. But I just, I, I always valued comments over views. And I still do. Uh, I would prefer to have... 45 views and 45 comments than uh, 30,000 views and 300 comments, you know. Because I don't I don't just want people to sit there and watch and oh yay, okay. I want people to, to give me feedback and agree with me, disagree with me, pick a fight, whatever. Don't try to troll me though. I'll probably just block you for being a dumbass. Done it several times so far. But uh, anyway, that's how I got started. I'll pick up with uh, why I made the move to YouTube and am still uh, doing what I'm doing over there, or here, I should say. Anyway, I'll be back.